Why did Imam Ali السلام, remain patient after the Prophet? If Imam Ali السلام, was the rightful caliph chosen by the Prophet to lead the community after the Prophet's demise, why is it then that the Imam chose to remain patient and not fight for his rights when the caliphate was usurped from him? This is a question many tend to ask the Shia. The fact of the matter is, Imam Ali did indeed initially speak up for his rights. First and foremost, the Imam refrained from giving allegiance to the Caliphate after the Prophet passed away and openly challenged their right to rule. When the Imam was brought in the presence of the first Caliph soon after the Caliphate was taken, he told him, I am the servant of Allah and the brother of the Messenger of Allah. I have more right over the rulership of the community than you, and so I will not give you allegiance. It is you who must give allegiance to me. You have taken over this caliphate from the Ansar by referring to your closeness to the Prophet, and they have given you control over their affairs due to that. I too bring the exact argument as you brought for the Ansar against you. In other words, the Imam argued, if the first Caliph could convince the Ansar to give allegiance to him due to his closeness to the Prophet, then Imam Ali was far closer to the Prophet than anyone else. And by that argument, the first Caliph should have given allegiance to the Imam. Another incident that occurred after the Caliphate was usurped was Lady Fatima and Imam Ali alongside their two sons, Imam Hassan and Hussein, going from door to door in the city of Medina, particularly to the homes of the Ansar and reminding them of the Prophet's words regarding Imam Ali and his role as the Caliph. Unfortunately, people refused to listen to the words of Lady Fatima or Imam Ali either due to fear or due to love of the world. After these attempts to convince the people failed, the question may remain, why didn't Imam Ali rebel and do an uprising to seek back his right? In a number of places, the Imam himself tells us of the reasoning for why he did not resort to the sword and physically fight for his rights. The time period immediately after the Prophet was a vulnerable moment for the Muslim community, which was still in its infancy. If the Imam had taken up the sword and sought to wage war for his rights, this would have caused severe dissension and discords amongst the Muslim community. And in fact, many Muslims who had only recently joined Islam a couple of years ago would have left Islam altogether. It was for the protection, unity, and greater good of the Muslim community and the severe lack of support that the Imam chose to forego his political rights and remain patient. For the Imam, the stability and security of the religion was far more important than anything else, while he still continued to play a significant role as a spiritual guide of the nascent Muslim community.